Hello and welcome to We On live broadcast from London. I'm Oliver Regan and here are the headlines. Iranian commander Ismail Khani attends the funeral in Tehran for General Abbas Nilfarushan, who was killed last month alongside Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah. Israel will consider the United States' opinion, but will act against Iranian missile attack based on its own national interests, says Netanyahu's office. This after reports that Netanyahu has reassured the US that any counter-strike would be limited to military sites. Israel's military launches strikes on eastern Lebanon, reports Lebanese media, as the IDF claims to strike nearly 230 targets in Gaza and Lebanon over the past 24 hours. South Korea's military says it's conducted counter-fire operations near the heavily fortified border with the north after Pyongyang's military blew up sections of roads linking the two countries. Pakistan's capital Islamabad under strict security lockdown ahead of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Schools, colleges and restaurants closed as government announces a three-day public holiday. Over the summer, UK wages rose at the weakest rate in more than two years. Average wages, excluding bonuses, rose 4.9% in the three months ending in August from a year ago. That's the slowest pace since 2022's June quarter. Okay.